This tree is a Juniperus chinensis, or a Kishu juniper. The tree is about 10 to 12 years old, and it costs 150 US dollar uh, in a bonsai nursery. Now, it's not particularly cheap, but the tree is really designed as a bonsai, so that in the last five, six years, already some work has been put into it, and that's why today we can really make a, a nice looking bonsai right away. So it's got a very artificial twisting trunk, but it looks quite nice. With a long curly branch here and some branches here as well. So today I'm going to prune and wire it. I'm not going to repot it at all. That comes in a half a year from now. And it's going to be quite a drastic change. So one of the things that I'm doing is this branch here is going to be a gin. So all the foliage is going to be removed. And also I'm going to change the angle of the tree. So it will be more or less something like this. And lastly, all the foliage above this point is also going to be removed. So all this is going to be uh, pruned away and we'll build the tree with only these few branches. So uh, I'll begin with uh, pruning the foliage right here and removing the top part of the tree. Um, we might make a small yin uh, of this, uh, this straight section, but let's see. All right, so I removed this foliage. The next step is to cut here. So like I said, I want to keep this part as a gin feature perhaps. So at least I want to keep that possibility open. So I'm just going to prune right above it. And that's somewhere around here. All right, took off the top of the tree as well. So with the angle, angle change, the tree will look more or less like, uh, like that. And we'll build the tree with the foliage that is all around here. And we'll make this a, a gin. And what we'll also do is, is follow the gin down to, uh, towards the trunk and make a shari line. So you will see a nice uh, white line going around here, which gives a really nice interplay of the dead wood and the live vein. So we'll do that uh, next as well. Deciding on the design of a bonsai isn't always easy, especially when a tree is as full and overgrown as this plant. And if you are interested to learn more about these techniques, consider enrolling in one of our online bonsai courses. Here, expert teachers explain the relevant techniques and you can ask them questions. For a free lesson, go to bonsaiempire.com courses. All right, so I finished creating the gin feature here, uh, as well as the shari line, which I continued from the branch all the way down, swirling around the, uh, the trunk into the ground here. So doing this, I want to be on a safe side, so uh, I really follow the, 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 the dead branch. I make a thin line just all the way across the trunk. And I make it quite thin, only a few millimeters. Um, Eventually we can like thicken it, make it a bit broader, but over time, don't do it all at once. Uh, so for now, this is more and more than enough. So what this does is it makes the, the trunk line a lot more interesting. And this feature will be nice in the end result as well. So the next step is uh, wiring the tree and then setting the branches in position. To create the, 
the, the gin feature and the shari. I use this gin tool. Uh, you can buy this online at most bonsai stores as well. Before we apply the wire, we remove dangling growth and small branches that are growing downwards. This basic cleaning of the branches will make it much easier to wire the tree. Try to select pairs of branches that are more or less of the same thickness and wire these with one piece of wire. Start with wiring the main branches and slowly work your way up the tree. Smaller and thinner branches need a thinner wire as well. Finished with this tree. So we did a lot of work on the dead wood, wired it and just set it uh, in position, all the branches. So I'm really happy with the result. And you're looking at it from the front and also at the angle uh, that I think will be best for the tree. So this is all we do for today. Come next spring, so about six months from now, we'll place this tree in a nice uh, bonsai pot and we'll, uh, we'll show you that next in the, in the video. The wire that we put on, I I think it will be on the tree for a good three, four months, perhaps even a little bit longer. It just depends, so I'll, I'll keep a close eye out on the, on the branches to see um, how the wire is doing and make sure to remove the wire before it starts to bite into the bark. But I'm very pleased with the, with the result. And I think once this will be placed in a bonsai container, it will look even better than it does right now. So the tree did well over the winter, it didn't grow much obviously um, and right now it's early spring so it's about to start growing again. You can see a lot of uh, uh, new growth starting to happen but it's still starting up. So right now it's a very good time to put it in a bonsai pot and it will look so much better than uh, this plastic container that it's in right now. So today we'll repot it, we'll take it out of this plastic pot, um, work out the, the, the soil away from the roots and see if we can fit it into a nice bonsai pot. So one nice option, uh, especially in terms of uh, color and, and, and shape as well, uh, this being a, a Han Kengai or a semi-cascading uh, tree, um, this pot will be really nice, uh, but it might be a little bit too small. So I have an alternative, which I don't like as much uh, for the shape, because this is more for a Moyoki or like an informal upright tree, uh, but it's a little bit bigger. So let's see, let's, uh, uh, assume for now that we'll place it in, in this pot. So I'll prepare the pots, um, put the mesh in there and uh, attachment wires um, and work, uh, work on the tree as well. So to work out uh, the roots, 
Uh, I use a root rake, which is a little bit more aggressive, and also chopsticks, which is a little bit more safe. So on the outside, I know for sure that a lot of the soil and, and roots will have to come off, so I'll use this uh, root rake. So it hasn't been repotted for a long time, that, that much is clear. Uh, it's potted in a partly organic, partly inorganic uh, mix, so it seems to be some, uh, some pumice and or organic matter as well. So for sure this tree will be much happier placed in, in our bonsai substrate, which is an inorganic mix uh, of akadama, pumice and lava rock. Uh, so I have the mix already prepared right here. So this is uh, what we'll use for the, for the tree. We also prune some of the old roots which can be distinguished by the dark, almost black color. Next we prepare the pot by covering the drainage holes with a mesh. We also attach two long wires, which will be used to anchor the tree to the pot firmly. We add a layer of soil before placing the tree into the pot. Place the tree slightly off-center in the pot and make sure to plant it at the right angle. Using the two long wires, we firmly attach the tree to the pot. The soil mixture we use is a blend of akadama, lava rock and pumice. You can read more about bonsai soil on our website, bonsaiempire.com. Alright, we have finished styling this tree, pruned and wired it and just repotted it. The only thing we have to do now is uh, watering. Learn how to create your own bonsai trees by enrolling in one of our online bonsai courses. We explain techniques like pruning, wiring and repotting and you can ask questions to the teachers. For the curriculums and free lessons go to bonsaiempire.com courses. <laughs>